New Year! <laughs> my name is Kimberly Lott and oh my gosh, 2022 bitches. All right, here we go. <laughs> Today I want to talk to you about the only three questions that you need to ask yourself as we begin 2022. These are questions that will really help you solidify what matters to you most and what's most important in the coming year that we have ahead of us. And so the first question that I want you to ask yourself is, how do I want to feel? How do you want to feel this year? Do you want to feel peaceful, joyful, happy? Like what's that feeling in the body that you want to be your default state? I want you to think about that. Maybe jot it down on a piece of paper or maybe feel into that now. What does that feel like for you? And then the second question I want you to ask yourself is who do I want to connect with? Who are the people that are going to fill your heart, fill your soul, fill your mind with beautiful ideas and stretch you to become the best person that you can be? Who are the people that when you spend time with them, you feel like your whole life expands right before your eyes? Who are those people? Who do you want to connect with? And how are you going to connect with them over the coming year? Do you want to take a vacation or take a trip with your girls from college? Do you want to have more regular phone calls with your parents or your sister? Do you want to develop a deeper connection with your partner? Who are the top five people that you want to invest your time in this year? And then number three, what projects do you want to bring to life? What are the things that have either been on the back burner or been a developing passion for you or things that maybe you just never thought you could do, but you want to give it a shot? What are the three projects that you really feel called to bring forth into the world this year? Those three projects can be anything from pursuing a personal passion or pursuing a professional endeavor. It can really be anything, any sort of project. Maybe you want to go to a forest, dress up like a fairy, and have your photographer friend just snap those photos for you. That's a project. If that fills your heart with joy, go do that. <laughs> if it's something else, maybe recording a song just because, or something like planting more trees in your backyard. Think of really any sort of project that just lights you up, that really sets your soul on fire. Those are the projects that maybe won't take as much time as you think because you're being fueled by something other than you. You're channeling that passion and also will bring you the most return on your investment in terms of joy. And that's really what we're after a lot of the time, right? Yes, money is beautiful. Money is wonderful. And the other side of that is the joy part. And so those projects, it's wonderful if all three can bring you both. If not, maybe one can bring you money and joy. One can bring you money. One can bring you just joy. Like really thinking about it, like joy is the ultimate goal overall. What are those three projects and what can you do now to get them started? <laughs> so just to recap, the three questions that you'll want to bring into the new year is number one, how do you want to feel? Number two, who do you want to connect with? And how are you going to connect with them? And number three, what projects do you want to bring to life? And what can you do now to get started? So there you have it. I hope that this helps and I'm wishing you such a beautiful new year ahead. Un beso a te. I'll catch you in the next video.